Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So recently we featured um, an unboxing of dinosaur toys from the 2000 Disney movie and uh, we're going to be continuing our look at each of those today by looking at this one. It's the Pteranodon and uh, he comes complete with a lemur in there as well. So without further ado, let's get this guy out of the packaging. Always very exciting breaking new, uh, well in this case, pterosaurs out of their packaging and lemurs as well. Okay, so straight away I'm getting a, a rubbery feel uh, pterosaur and uh, what's in here? So there's usually there's a little separate baggie we've found so far uh, with Crone and his Velociraptor. There was a separate baggie with the Velociraptor in. So here you can see there's a lemur in the bag and we'll get onto that one in just a second. And here is our Pteranodon. Now it comes in this little plastic tray to keep him in good condition. So we're done with that. But first of all, let's have a look at this little retro flyer. So here you can see at the top there it says Happy Meal, Walt Disney Pictures, and you can see the toys in this particular wave. So we're looking at the Pteranodon and the Lemur, and I believe it's Aladar and the Lemur as well, uh, riding on his back. So we're looking at these two today. On the back, it's got a little bit of instructions about uh, how the Aladar and Lima works, but today we're looking at this one. Now, they do have some pretty nifty magnets going on. Um, it looks to me like the cross that's on the Pteranodon's chest somehow magnetizes with the head of the Lima. So maybe this uh, Pteranodon picks him up, but we'll find out in just a second. Here is the Pteranodon. As you can see, it comes in this lovely bright purple. And he is indeed made of a rubbery material. Very flexible wings and uh, very rubbery to touch. So, getting a closer look at the head sculpt, very sort of stylized and cartoony, but still quite cool looking, very streamlined. And here you can see the striations running all the way along the wing. If someone can tell me what type of pterosaur this is supposed to be, I assumed it's a pteranodon, but uh, I might be wrong. It looks like the one that we see uh, in the uh, trailer, the teaser trailer. I'll put a link to that trailer down below. I'm sure you all remember it. It was this epic sequence with uh, the pterosaur flying over the valley of dinosaurs. And man, my jaw just hit the floor when I saw that trailer. So you can see here there's a little mark there, like a little plastic area on its chest. So we'll find out what that does in just a bit. But very nice detail. And they've still managed to preserve that sort of cartoony Disney feel as well. So, onto the lemur. And I'm getting the feeling that actually this is going to be an electronic feature, maybe not a magnet feature, um, because there is a little pull tab here. And I think maybe it's going to be sound activating. So that's going to be pretty cool. So let's pull the tab out of this guy. Really nicely detailed, by the way. I love the egg uh, that is clutching in his arms. Very nice. And obviously the sound is going to emanate from here. According to the instructions, we've got to tap him on the head with the chest. And that should activate the electronic feature, I believe. So let's give that a go. It may be that the batteries over the years have, have died. Oh, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? It's always a shame when toys don't work. But these are vintage toys. And you've got to remember they've been around for 14 years now, so probably the batteries have corroded. And looking at the little pole tab, you can see there's a little mark there where I think the battery has, in fact, corroded on the tab. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hear the lemur making its noise today. But um, two very nice little toys there. And um, it's really nice to have the, uh, the pterosaur from the trailer, if you can name uh, the type of pterosaur would be really interesting. I really like the streamlined design. It'd be quite nice to kind of hang this one uh, from the ceiling. It would look pretty, pretty cool hanging up. And I really like the sculpt on this guy as well. Uh, I like the detailing on the egg. It's just a shame that this electronic feature didn't work. Um, but still, very nice. Did you own these guys when Dinosaur came out? Let me know in the comments down below. And in the meantime, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.